Hey Mustangs, welcome back to Counselor Thursday. As always, we'll start off with our t -t 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 tip of the week. Please <laughs> consider the following. Hey Mustangs, uh, McKay here, freshman at the University of Utah with your tip of the week. Uh, my tip to you guys would be to find a passion in life, find what you love to do, and go out and do it. College is a great opportunity to learn about what you want to learn about and to become the best out of that you can become. Thanks, McCade. Now, let's spotlight the University of Utah. Check it out. Hi, come on in. Welcome to the University of Utah, or as we like to call it, the U. My name is Stephanie, and this is my room in Sage Point. Nice, right? Did you know the residence halls here at the U were originally built to be the Athletes' Village for the 2002 Olympic Winter Games? Lots of gold medalists stayed up here. When the Olympic athletes made their way to Lower Campus and Rice Eccles Stadium for the opening and closing ceremonies, they made their way on their suspension footbridge. It's one of just a few like it in the western United States, and when you get to the other side, you can step out on the track's light rail train. It's free to ride and it can take you anywhere on campus or to downtown Salt Lake City or even the airport. Welcome to Rice Cycles Football Stadium, home of the must, ranked by ESPN as one of the top 10 student sections in the nation. This place really gets rocking on a fall weekend. And with a tough Pac-12 and non-conference schedule on the horizon, it's only going to get crazier. Hope you have some earplugs. The striking mix of beautiful architecture and eons of history is the acclaimed Natural History Museum of Utah, another brand new addition to the U campus. There are hundreds of miles of bike trails right behind the museum and the residence halls. Or go a little further and you can hit the slopes at seven world-class ski resorts just 30 minutes from campus. When class is out at the U, our students head outside. But why not, when this can be your classroom? This is the brand new U-Star Sorensen Biotechnology Building. Some people think I'm small. But a person's genes? That's really small. The U's Mario Capecchi won the Nobel Prize in 07 for discovering how to turn certain genes in the body on and off. This U-Star building is where a whole bunch of future Nobel winners are probably working on some big ideas right now. At the U, we're in a huge building boom. Our top-rated U healthcare system just got additions to the hospital and the Huntsman Cancer Institute. Beyond this, we're adding honors housing, a student life center, a new law school, and the business school just moved into these new digs. Oh yeah, it's as high-tech as it gets. But as one of the West's oldest universities, we cherish our history too. Kingsbury Hall, the centerpiece of our campus performing arts, first opened its doors in 1930. She looks pretty good after all these years, right? Our campus is a hub for dance and music education. <laughs> so that's it, my quick tour of the U. From up here, you'll see nothing but far horizons and bright futures. Wow, what an impressive school. We've got quite a few members of our faculty who have attended the University of Utah. Let's go to them and hear about their experiences. Hey guys, Mr. Mr. Kimball here. Um, I graduated from the University of Utah. Um, I chose to go to the University of Utah because it was local. Um, I applied to some other schools and I got in, but I felt like um, the U was a good choice. Um, my experience there was awesome. Um, it's right up on the mountainside here, uh, good sports, um, good programs, um, you know, an awesome education program. So if you're looking for a university to go to, I would highly recommend the University of Utah. Hey, my name is Mr. Eddington. I'm the new math teacher here. I graduated from the University of Utah. I got an undergraduate degree in Russian language and literature and a minor in comparative literary and cultural studies. Um, I love the U just because, oh, there are a lot of reasons. The campus is really beautiful. I love Salt Lake. I wanted to live in Salt Lake and that worked well with the U. I had amazing professors. Um, I took really interesting classes. I took a lot of classes that were outside of my major just because they were interesting to me and I wouldn't regret any of it. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jones and I teach English here at Westlake STEM. I graduated from the University of Utah with degrees in journalism and history. I loved it there. I had a great experience. The campus is beautiful and I loved being there. 
my professors were so nice and interesting and I just felt like they really cared about me and about my success. So I'm really grateful that I was able to go to the university. It's a great place. Hi guys, I'm Mr. Bora and I'm here to just talk about my college experience. I went to the University of Utah on a basketball scholarship so I had a bit of a different experience from a lot of other um, people. Um, I got to enjoy myself playing basketball as well as get an education um, and I had all of these resources to help me out too while spending hours and hours a day practicing basketball. Um, and I really enjoyed it as well. I enjoyed the educational part and the basketball part. So go to college guys. Hi, I'm Mrs. Moreno and I graduated from the University of Utah. I loved the University of Utah because I lived at the dorms and met a lot of friends and had a lot of activities that were really fun. Even though I lived in the valley, I wanted that dorm experience. I graduated um, with a degree in Spanish education with a minor in math. And I love teaching. That's what I wanted to do ever since I was in the third grade. So I got what I wanted um, on scholarship from the foreign language department as well. Hi guys, my name is Mr. Schaefer. I, went, I graduated from the University of Utah with a Bachelor of Mathematics in 1993. Um, I chose the University of Utah just after moving to Utah from Southern California, um, mainly for the convenience because I was living in the Salt Lake area. Um, but it was a great move on my part, great campus, so much has changed since I graduated. It is much more student friendly than it was when I was there. Lots of things for you to do if you choose to go there. Um, I was a non-traditional student, so I didn't live on campus. I lived at home um, with my wife. I was already married, uh, but it still was a great experience in the four years I was there. But the best part of being uh, going to the University of Utah is the Go Utes. Hey guys, it's Miss Coons. I graduated from the University of Utah and I chose to go to University of Utah so I could stay close to home. I actually lived at home, commuted, grew up in the valley so I wanted to stay close to my family. Plus, it's a beautiful campus. Go Utes! Hi, I'm Mr. Rowland and I teach seventh grade science here at Westlake. I went to the University of Utah and the reason I chose to go to that school is because actually I received a full athletic scholarship in swimming. I grew up in Southern California and that's how I ended up here in Salt Lake City. My uh, degree is actually in PE and health and the reason I teach science is because I had classes all over that campus and I liked the science classes and after graduation I went back and earned my uh, four endorsements in the science areas. Hi, I'm Miss Stansbury. I'm an English teacher and I went to the University of Utah which was awesome. They had great pizza, great student union. I studied creative writing. They had a, I have a master's degree in writing fiction which is more marketable than you might think but don't do it anyway. It was a great experience. I had lots of really good teachers um, and I loved going to the U of U. Hey Mustangs, this is Mr. Platero. Uh, I'm here to talk, today, talk to you today about um, my experience of going to the University of Utah. Uh, I earned two degrees there. I earned my bachelor's degree in business communication. And I also earned my master's degree in education with an emphasis in school counseling. Uh, the reason why I like the University of Utah is because they have a great support system there. Uh, I used, <clears throat> utilized the offices up there that uh, focused on minority students where you can go and receive help, either tutoring or test prep or homework help or computer labs, whatever the case may be. Uh, they had a great support system there. And so this is something that is available to you if you were to go to the University of Utah. I know it's kind of scary to go to a big school, but there is help there. <clears throat> That's something that I learned quickly, and you should take advantage of that once you get there. Thanks, teachers, for sharing your experiences. We'll see you next week when we spotlight BYU as we prepare for our upcoming college week.